sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one in your need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, so you know that we do one of these readings um, every now and again. What the family, friends, and the romantic partner wants to say to you. So that's what this reading is going to be about, what they want to say to you. Maybe how they're viewing you at this time. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see what the family, friends, and the romantic partner wants to tell you. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. Let's see. All links are below, Aquarius, if you need to get in contact with me. The 10 minute $25 reading is still active. Uh, it's going to end today. Um, I will link it in the comment section. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What does the family want to tell Aquarius? I, I saw like people looking. Okay. Okay. So. Self-awareness. This is what the family wants to tell you. Experience of one's own personality or individuality. All right. So we'll go into that in a minute. Let's see what friends, friends, maybe that you aren't talking to is kind of distant. What do they want to tell you? Ooh, the friends got something to say. Um, they see that you're extremely happy or money came into the, your bank account or you got a job or you won the lottery or Received promotion or clean bill of health. I don't know. The friends see you as you know, something about extreme happiness. All right, let's see. And let's see what a loved one, a romantic partner wants to say to you. What's this romantic partner want to say to the Aquarius? Oh, these cards are so hard to shuffle because they're so big. And the hands hurt. All right, let's see. Jeez. Okay. A romantic partner wants to say, I think there's two that came out. Leave him or her alone. Give them room to change. It might even be the universe. Okay, romantic partner, you chose to give love to the wrong person. Face it, then fix it. So your romantic partner. All right, so we'll go there in a minute. All right, let's see. So family talks about self-awareness. And then I saw like people looking, lurking. The people in your family are saying to yourself, you're not even aware of the experience that we're having uh, with you or, or how we see you, okay? Um, you may bring a lot to your family dynamic, okay? They may not tell you how much you mean or what you mean to the family, but again, they're experiencing you. You're not experiencing you, but you do need to have self-awareness. You also need to understand that you sometimes you are the glue. You were the glue. You were holding things together. Uh, you come up with the good ideas. You're this, you're that, Okay? Um, you have a lot of individuality. The family could be seeing you by yourself, wanting to keep distance, especially when I saw the people looking, lurking. Um, they like to have you around, even though they might not admit it or maybe not even act like they like having you around at times. The family misses you or they miss your energy. They miss not having you around. Maybe you were the butt of the jokes. Maybe you were this. Maybe you were that. Um, they miss 
your energy. I mean, maybe they miss, um, maybe just seeing you, knowing your business. Some people just like to know. I want to know what the Aquarius is doing. I want to know where they at. I want to know where they live. I want to know what their house looks like. I want to know. I don't know. You know knowledge news they can't use but they just want to know okay so you got some nosy people here just want to know so um you also somebody wants to know what's going on with you somebody in your family dynamic because they don't know what you're doing how you're doing it maybe so they can copy or they can steal from uh i don't know look at your home and see if they can get some decor type of uh, ideas i don't know maybe look and see what you're doing for work Your presence holds a lot of weight with the family, whether these people want to admit it or not. Okay. Friends are seeing you extremely happy. Okay. Um, so they can feel like you've got a lot going for yourself. Um, you won the lottery or somebody um, finances your life or um, you have a lot of money coming in or you make a lot of money or, you, you know, you got a good reputation, prestigious, whatever. Uh, friends are seeing you extreme, as extremely happy. Um, even if you don't post much on social media, even if you don't talk to them a lot about what's going on with you, they're seeing you as extremely happy. Uh, they're seeing you as lucky is what I'm getting. So they may even associate maybe your come up, your glow up, your whatever as luck. Um, some of you, they don't even know the half of it. They don't know what you're going through. They don't know how you're going through it. Um, maybe you have not let people in on to what you are going through and how you're going through it. So maybe they're getting a false sense of happiness from you. But, you know, friends are seeing you as extremely happy. It kind of wanted to come in the reverse too. So some of you are extremely happy. Some of you, maybe this year is not so happy right now, okay? Um, in terms of a love partner like somebody you had a love affair with cards say leave him or her alone give them room to change so the the i guess the romantic romantic partner could just be seeing you as like you given you given the situation the relationship time to change to morph to mutate into something else the romantic partner could be saying that you chose to give love to the wrong I don't know this I could be getting from this that this person is not taking responsibility for hurting you okay they just like you well you wanted to be in love and you thought we were in love and you thought we were in a relationship and you thought so it's on you you fix it you gotta face it you know I'm a player or I'm a play it or I just wasn't I'm not what you want I wasn't yeah I can't give you what you want I never could and they want you to face that okay and that could be very true could be valid um, but it's harsh, it's cold, so uh, maybe this is what uh, a romantic partner is saying. They also may be saying that they're giving you room so that you can change or change your mind or come back to them. Let's start to go ahead and uh, clarify what's happening in terms of family self awareness. The family seeing uh, Aquarius as off to themselves, put up, shut up, you know, not really wanting to let. Maybe the family in. I'm seeing, well, the family seeing you as an individual. Jeez. Yeah, they don't know what's going on with you. Seven of Cups. Fantasy. Seven of Cups. So they could even be kind of like spying or trying to spy, um, asking around about you. The Seven of Cups also. They could see you as indulging, overindulging. It, you know, um, maybe like smoking, drinking, carrying on, doing what you want to do procrastinating um why the seven of cups for aquarius three of wands these people are far from you so that they, they can even be making up lies about what they think your life is like or what they think you're doing with the three of wands they can even be spreading lies um about what's going on with you with the three of wands here they could be communicating things that they don't know to be true. Um, they could be seeing, your family could be seeing you have um, major success. You know, something become wildly successful for you with the three of wands. They could be seeing you expand, take the lead, be ownership. You could own something. 
they could be seeing you as just open. Um, you put in something out to the world and it's being well received. Your family can see you as just kind of, yeah, doing your own thing off to yourself. The full card on a new timeline, a new trajectory, uh, following your dream. Even if they feel like it's a pipe dream or not a real job or whatever. You know, your family just sees you as an individual. They see you as eccentric, uh, different, spontaneous, Uranus in the energy coming up. They just see you as just doing your thing. They know that you're the one. They might not admit it to you. You know, that you, you're the one. You got the power. You know, you, you do your own thing and it, and it works for you. They see you as lucky also. Like luck being on your side. Uh, having beginner's luck. They see you as young, youthful. They see you as, you know, maybe they don't even see you. Because, oh, the fool card says um, someone who's fun, fabulous, but not even really. They don't even really know it. or They don't really lean into it too much. Like, so the, again, self-awareness, you're going to see how other people are, are, are experiencing you and your personality, your individuality. So these people see you, your family sees you as the one, like, you're fabulous, you know, but you don't really, like, um, you don't harp on this, you don't, like, you're not um, conceited about it, you're not extremely boastful, you're not um, over the top with it, Um Oh, this is also like ideal, idealistic. Like they don't, they, your family is telling you, you don't even know how forward thinking you are, how far along you are in your thought process and, and your doing and your, and, and opportunities that you create for yourself. Just, you know, your family just sees you as dynamic. They see you as um, attractive, sexy, um, single for some of you. Okay, doing your own thing, singular, and they see you as starting over. So your family sees you as starting over. You're ground zero, but doing a, a really good job at it. Again, they see you just taking a risk. You're either going to, you know, you're going to sink or swim, right? And it's, they see you as taking a risk. Um... Some of, some of you coming out of the closet, you could be gay, lesbian, bisexual, you know, pants. I don't know. All of them. Um, the family just sees you as keeping your distance. Maybe as you create this new paradigm, this new timeline, this new trajectory for yourself. It's like you just you keeping your distance. You don't really want to. It's not for everybody. They just see you doing your own thing. See you as like having like a, a blessing or being a blessing or the universe is a blessing. All right. So they, the family sees you just taking the lead. Like you're about to maybe lead this family in a different direction. Maybe out of generational, you know, um, curse. You're going to break the chain. Are you broken out? Or you're super independent or you, you're taking the lead here. You're showing others the way. Maybe how to be an entrepreneur, how to do your own thing, follow your dreams. Um, manifest, okay? Extremely happy is how the friends see you, Aquarius. All right, let's talk about it. Extremely happy. And it, it tried to come in the reverse. Let's see. Why do the friends see Aquarius as extremely happy? The Ten of Pentacles, wow. I'm telling you, your friends feel like you you made it. You made it. You know, they, they feel like you just, you got all of the money. And you know, maybe you do. Um, um, but they just see you as extremely abundant. They see you as a wealth of knowledge. They see you as like something being given to you. Transference of wealth. I don't know, maybe they see you as getting an inheritance or money coming into your bank, large amount of money, winning the lottery or something like that, or promotion, or they just see you as now uh, a clean slate because all of this money, or you're making a lot of money or with the Ten of Pentacles here. They see you as extremely happy because you're you're abundant. You have a lot. Um, they see you as marrying into wealth also. 
for some of you. The Ten of Pentacles and extremely happy. That maybe they see you as like um, having a family, coming from a family that has money, a family business. They see you saving for maybe retirement. They see you as retiring early or retiring. They see you as oh a bank, a financier, you an investor, a banker. Like you're the person to go to if you need to get it funded. You have funds. Um, they see you as married to your legacy empire, creating a legacy in an empire. Your friends and your yeah, your friends see you as um organized and happy. Okay, because you know organized, happy people create empires. So what do you want to be if you want to create an empire? Organized, happy. So they see you extremely happy because you I mean you're out here, you're doing your thing, right? Um, they see you as opulent or having a, a sense of like sophistication, opulence, elegance about yourself. Okay. Uh, one more card for how the friends see Aquarius. How do the friends see Aquarius? Uh, the nine of swords. Oh, so this is for those because I felt like it was coming in the reverse. Some of your friends see you. Those who just are not in the best place, the nine of swords, they see you as panicky and panicking and um, in a, a, a bad situation and um, the sky is falling, chicken little, you know, they see you as um, not the the inability to cope with the cir circumstances surrounding you right now. Uh, the nine of swords, they, they see you as um, needing to learn lesson, be introspective, be reflective. I know it's kind of like you're projecting outwards, but you're not really going within and seeing how you played a part in um, this scenario, in what's going on with you. Um, the see is replaying something over and over again, like a broken record, something negative, something, you know, out of the blue. Um, the see is not being able to cope with being away from, estranged from. The see you as not being able to cope with having to take a step back or something crumbling. Maybe a relationship ending. All right, one more card for how the friends see Aquarius, the Four of Cups, not seeing an opportunity, missing out on an opportunity, not engaging, not getting out there, um, not seeing the blessing uh, or the gift that you have. So you're missing something with the Four of Cups here. So the friends see is not taking an opportunity. For both sets of the Aquarius here, whether they see you as, you know, um, super rich or they see you as, you know, in need, um, they see you not seeing an opportunity, maybe a little bit despondent, checked out, uh, not engaging, unhappy with the options or something before you, depressed. Why the four of cups? Gift. Not using a gift or something, a gift, a blessing. Not seeing that something is a blessing, a major blessing for you. All right, let's see. Um, it's a freeze warning. Damn, it was just 70 something degrees yesterday. Anyway. Um. Okay. This is the love part. And this is the part you want you want to hear about. Oh, this is the part, Aquarius. You want to hear about that romantic part. And guess what? We're done. Okay. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Go over to... No. <laughs> I know you want to hear about it. Let's see. All right. So, this person may not be taking responsibility for how they treated you. They could have treated you poorly. Okay. Boom. And then it says they could be leaving you alone to give you room so that you'll change or change your mind. Um, or this is what you need to do. Let's see. Oh, what's going on here for the romantic partner? For what the romantic partner wants to tell the Aquarius all the shit. Yeah, the moon card. So they got some deep feelings for you. There could have been even some some lies, deception. Um, there's somebody playing games. Somebody is, you know, this is like a hidden enemy. Secrecy. There also could be somebody else involved here. 
and that can be the hidden enemy you know um so it could be like a third party situation there's also estrangement so you guys are not together so there's all a lot of uh, assuming accusations and blah 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 because you're not together and you're not having a conversation so this person feels like okay in the midst of us not being together they're assuming the worst they're assuming this this accusations um there's also somebody who's not going to take accountability, maybe due to the fact that there could be emotional, mental upset. So this person's mindset, emotions could be dysfunctional. It doesn't function in the capacity of, you know, maybe like, um, I won't say that, but like um, a functional, a highly functional human being. So theirs is dysfunctional. Um, it, it doesn't. Go to the top of the floor. The elevator don't go all the way up. So somebody is a little bit off. Um, and so they, they see things in, in their own way. With the moon card here, it could be a feminine energy. Um, they could be extremely emotional. Um, maybe even emotionally manipulative. Again, there could be a third party involved. They're not taking responsibility for what they did. Uh, it is what it is. They could be lying to themselves and others. Yeah, this is a person who's in, in, in extreme delusion. Okay. Um, you and this person were very different, but you wanted like the same outcome. You like, you know, we want to be together, but you were very different. So you were going about being together in a relationship very differently. How do you how do you do that? You know, that could be difficult. Let's see. Um what else does this person want to so Aquarius, nine of cups. They're wishing for you, nine of cups. They 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 miss the good times, the sex, the fun, the the drinks, the eat, you know, the eateries. Oh, they miss all the good times. They could be wishing and hoping and praying for you to come back, for you to resurface. Keep putting something out there. So hoping, hoping, hoping. You know, wishing. It says make a wish. It could very well come true with the Nine of Cups. Uh, they want to indulge with you. You know, they feel like maybe if we could just get to that place, then we can get to recovery. They could be thinking about the fun times, the good times. Yeah, the Sun card. You bring a lot of um, maybe uh, positivity into their life. You were the positive one with the Sun card. They feel like you are the one. Um, there, this also could be indicative of like no strings attached back to, I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. You chose to give me your love. I told you I wasn't on that, but you wanted to be on that. So this person, you know, is really in the energy of, you know, let's keep it, you know, real casual with the sun and the nine of cups. Cause there's also somebody else here. So you could have been dealing with somebody that was already coupled, married, whatever. That's other people. Somebody who's just not willing to settle down or make the commitment. What else does this person want to tell the Aquarius? Does this person want to tell the Aquarius? Yeah, the chariot card could be dealing with the cancer. You're not dealing with the cancer. So this person is more committed to work. They're, you know, married to the job. It's just somebody who's can focus on themselves. The chariot card is not the best card for love because this is somebody who's like about their career, about advancement in their own life. They can govern their emotions and their thoughts and they get in control of it and they move and they move in the best position for themselves, not for the whole, not for Aquarius and I, but it is for I. This person makes, you know, decisions, uh, stays in control so that they can be the victor, so that they can win, so that they can advance, so, you know, they can, um, you know, smash all of their goals, short term or long term here. It's somebody who's not really focused on love. They're too focused on getting ahead. Being ahead, cars, um, jewelry, maybe the material of life. They're not giving to a relationship or commitment. They, you know, are more so focused on what they can take from it so that they can advance. So you may have been dealing with somebody who is selfish. All right, what else? Can we get some oracle angel? Nope, this is not an angel oracle. The, okay, all right. So the, they want this deck. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll close this out so it won't be so long. 
All right, let's see. And one last card for how family views the Aquarius. How does family view the Aquarius? How does family view? Okay. Yeah, like self-employed. Okay. Um, let's see. Self-employed. The... What's that? Queen of Wands. All right, so they see you as, you know, taking action. Stepping into your life purpose confidently, uh, self-employed, seductive, attractive, you know, um, they see you as sultry. Again, I brought up sexy back here. So they see you as like, you know, maybe you're in shape, you're kind of tall, you're magical, um, you're funny, you know, um, what is this word? I'm trying to read this word. I don't know. You could have your own family. Or you could just be attracting your soul family. They see you as like an individual though. You know, kind of, they see you as very active, doing. The wands are about action and doing. The queen of wands is all about charisma, networking, getting out there, putting yourself out there, putting something out to the world and it being well received. They see you as just active, active about self. That's how family sees you. They see you as following maybe, um, again, what you were here to do. It could be something that is like um, in terms of energy or, or something that takes a lot of energy. Or you, some of you could like post pictures or you could be in like fashion, beauty. And then also like fitness is what I'm getting. Um, some of you could be doing something. Oh, they see you as mystical, you know, kind of mis like a mystic, a mystique. Uh, they don't know what you're doing because we saw those people kind of like trying to look in. So they see you as kind of um, keeping your distance, you know, while you build. Because the queens are about the doers of the tarot, so you're doing a lot. They see you as getting a lot done in a short amount of time, too. Maybe establishing yourself. They see you as the, so the soccer mom, the wife. Um, the business owner, they see you as a lot, you know, your head is on like a swivel right now because you're trying to do a lot and you're, looks like you're doing it well with the queen of wands. That's how the family sees you. Friends. So either friends see you as in need or the friends see you as if they need, they can come to you. They see you as extremely happy. Or some of them see you as extremely unhappy. They do see you as missing an opportunity. Um, the king of cups. So they see you as like business oriented because the King of Cups, believe it or not, is very like business minded. Um, they see you as a philosopher, um, very literal, or you do something with literature, or you write, or you're an artist, or photography. Um, they see you as maintaining your composure also. They can't read you at times. Um, they see you as loving, spiritual, you know, expansive too. Um, like you keep your like they see you um as like mystic again like they don't know what's coming next they see you as having a lot of love for people but you love on a deep level so you don't always show your hand or you don't accurately show it you don't show your love um but but it's there definitely They see you as maybe even having like, I don't know, like, oh, you have like suitors who give you things, buy you things, take you places. You have more than one. Um, they see you as very spiritual. Maybe you're not doing an, enough to use your spiritual gifts. That's how your friends see you. They see you as lucky. Libra. Libra could be significant to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They see you as very decisive. Um, you make a decision, you move on it. They see you as good with, like, you're a good listener. Maybe you have good bedside manner. You could be in the medical profession or you're trying to break into. You could be in holistic herbal medicine. Um, they see you as a, uh, you can deal with a lot of different personalities. Um, maybe even a diplomat in terms of dealing with. Um, they see you as a, like, a, a, in a managerial type of position or, um, maybe having your own business 
Uh, you help people. You help people heal. You're a healer. So the friends just see you as just, I don't know, they see you as the bee's knees, right? Um, this love partner, whomever you're inquiring about is, um, you got Pisces, you got, uh, I don't ever see Scorpio on the moon, but the dark side of the moon. So we'll get it. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got the sun card. So this love partner could see you as like, God or like having like a God like complex manifest manifest in the flesh. So God in the flesh. So they see you as like like a childlike spirit. It's just like you like you radiate positivity and light. They see you as free. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. You've gotten some like illumination about who you are. You've gotten enlightened about who you are, what you bring to every table, who, what you can be, what you can do. The highest level, you know, of, a, of knowing yourself. So they see you as completely free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. The sun has really set you free, Aquarius. So this person sees you as just like um, super duper individualistic. And then also they could see you as more so concerned about business and you and carrying on with you or this is what the cards are telling you need to do they can see you as um yeah you guys are estranged they can see you as maybe still having emotions for them and them for you they can see you as um just having like emotional stability by yourself with the nine of cups don't want me to go over that again okay um this person could see that you know now that you chose to give love to the wrong person and it was them. And now you're fixing it about them. And you are leaving them alone and maybe even giving them room to change if they will. It's up to them. But I don't think you're waiting for it. Some of you are and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see how what card really brings it all home for how this love partner sees you. So they just see you as like transmuting the energy. Like getting to a place of... You know, you, you got in control of your emotions and your thoughts and you're moving forward. You were the underdog. You were maybe listening to the sweet nothings of this person. You were staying in something far too long. Let's see. Uh, so they see you as the drama, 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 chameleon. Okay. So they want to, this could even be gaslighting. Again, they're not taking responsibility for how they treated you. Um... They see you as drama. They, so they're not taking responsibility. So it's, it's on you. They're pointing the finger at you. One last card for how this love partner, romantic partner, whomever they are, um, the king of wands. They see you as strong, more so focused on business. They see you as lucky, um, smart. They see you as adventurous. They see you as starting your own thing, as starting your own business, or putting more time and energy into self. They see you as seeing the bigger picture now. See, they see they had you kind of like um, pegged as looking at it, the situation like, um, you know, um, micro. And, and then you're at a macro. Like, okay, I had to go through this. I had to deal with them. I had to learn this. I had. They see you as psychic also. They see you as maybe breaking the ties of karma between you and them they see you as maybe working from home um they see you as like you doing the unexpected um they see you as getting unexpected income they see you as just kind of like a uh, really um solid stable do your own thing business owner entrepreneur mover and shaker you have an idea you move on the idea you don't wait you ain't waiting you move they see you as um like manifesting you can get what you want And the last card would be advice for how Aquarius should deal with friends, family, and this loved one, this romantic partner. Oh. Family, abundance. So see these people through the eyes of love. Be open to whatever they want to give you or be open to conversation. Um, you know, start something. Uh, if there's a conversation that needs to be had, you know, be open to it. Be loving. 
don't close off to these family members because I don't think you know how much you mean to them. You might like heal some of these people just the capacity of of who you are and how you deal and how you have dealt with um maybe not getting what you want from these people or these people being um nasty to you um and you still showing up in the capacity of love you know that's god god is love so it's like maybe they're only experiencing god through you Extremely happy is how the friends see you. And for some of you, they see you as a need. Some of you, they see you as you got it. You got it. You know, you're doing your thing out here. Let's see. How should Aquarius deal with friends? I heard long spoon. Okay. Oh, wow. And then reconsider. So maybe you're going to reconsider some things. You know, um, go over it. At first, you were considering it. You need to reconsider. Go over it. Okay. Um... Go over the account of them before you start to engage again. You know, how did they deal with you? How were they dealing with you? You might need to deal with them with a long spoon. I don't know. Let's see. This uh, romantic partner. Advice for the Aquarius card flipped out. Perfect timing. Well, we had a card of timing that you were um, giving this person time to change. This person could be coming back to you. Maybe change. They need to work on themselves. They're still a drama queen or king. Perfect timing. This is the perfect timing for you to focus and drill down on you and not them. Alright. So, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates. For you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also uh, donate to the channel by buying me a coffee. Yep, I do like coffee. The link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. If you, Before you leave, go ahead and click that like button. All right, it helps the video circulate. Thank you for doing so. Okay, and um, if you want to connect with me on business matters, you can always book your complimentary discovery call and we can talk about how I can help you in your uh, business endeavors. Um, and then also, if you just want to connect with like-minded individuals, business individuals each and every month join the ktmg keep the momentum going monthly conference call where we talk all things business practical and spiritual all right um i'm live every tuesday and thursday at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do a collective reading and then i answer your questions so come and uh the 25 dollar 10 minute readings are on sale so go ahead and take advantage i will link it below um this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.